Edith. Hope she didn't change her mind. She was stuck in traffic on West 85th, but after circling the block a couple of times on the spot, just out front, next to a blue Ford Escort and a red Chevrolet. Uh, thanks. Oh my god, I am so sorry I'm late. Traffic was just a nightmare, and then I couldn't find parking. Oh, but somebody pulled away right in front. Oh, we're dead. Oh, oh, please. Oh, <laughs> Who is he? Oh, I, we went on a date a couple months ago, and it just, it didn't work out. Yeah, it really won't. You just need to realize that you love me the way that I love you. So, Skippy, what do you do? Oh, well, I work for an insurance firm. He makes less than 75000 a year and has fewer than 45 friends on his Facebook page. Steve, hush! <laughs> I only do it because I love you, Jill, more than anyone could. Ever. <laughs> so, would you like some wine? Oh, well, actually... She doesn't you know, like Merlot, it gives her a headache. <laughs> so, I, I was thinking for dinner, maybe a nice steak, medium rare, a salad with honey mustard... Yeah. And she'll have steak. salmon grilled with garlic and lemon juice. Asparagus with olive oil and chamomile tea with one teaspoon of honey. That does sound lovely. <laughs> Dang! Yeah. It's time to take a birth control pill. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how was your weekend? Oh, it was good. Um, I went to a friend of a friend's party. Stacy, you went to Stacy's party. Right. Uh, she was having a barbecue. At 517, you greeted the hostess. At 5.22, you grabbed yourself a drink. We get the point, Steve. I love you, Jill. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really hope that Steve doesn't bother you. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> you forgot to feed the dog, but it's okay. I did it. Buster knows me. <laughs> we met at the dog park. <laughs> Skippy was out of poop bags, so I gave him one. What type of dog do you have? Oh, I don't have a dog. I just carry extras of anything, so I can be the <laughs> skippy when he needs me. <laughs> That's a good idea. What sort of thing? Um, well, let's see. Um, deodorant, safety pens, mm -hmm. uh, mustard powder. <laughs> Thank you. Madame Musil, voodoo dolls, a phone charger, a screwdriver, um, passwords to all of all of his online account. Where? Where'd they go? I, I didn't see them go. Oh, no, it's fine. It, they left at 718 and are now currently making out in the hood of her car. But but I need to know what's going on exactly at all times. I, I can tell you in, in three, two, one, now. <laughs> she will have bitten him on the neck. Hussy! Don't you call my love that! Oh, oh, oh I got a no, please. Can I get one of those tissues? No. <laughs> <laughs> Interpretive lap dance. <laughs> oh, baby, you are so hot, I don't even know if I can keep my hands to myself. Well, you know, we do have a very strict policy that you have to sit on your hands at all times. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> all right. I am a tree. I am a gazelle. I am mud. I'm a little teapot, don't get burned. Now, I'm the water inside of the teapot, and now I am evaporation. <laughs> and I'm a child's first disappointment. Okay, what the fuck? Stand out of your hands, jerk face! <laughs> Those kids that year were so terrible. If you hadn't have stopped Brooklyn from running away... We never would have met. Well, I was going to say I would have gotten fired, but yeah, <laughs> that too. <laughs> oh, man, the aquarium sure has gotten bigger since then. Yeah, I think that whole tank is new. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Look at that! <laughs> I've never seen one so close before. That is the biggest seal I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> that is so... So adorable. What is? You calling that manatee a seal? Well, it is a seal. No, honey, it's a manatee. It's a seal. It's a manatee. No, no, it's a seal. Look at the flippers. <laughs> <laughs> Manatees have flippers, too. Uh, 
puffy overlip and whiskers give it away. <laughs> Seal. Manatee. Seal. Manatee. Seal! Manatee! Which one of us is the teacher? I have to have a broad range of knowledge to be able to do my job. You're a preschool teacher. To do your job, you have to keep their clothes on in public and keep them from eating paste. Oh, oh <laughs> it comes out. You don't respect my career. What? Of course I do. It just doesn't make you a marine biologist. Like welding does? You don't even work with nature. You work with machines. I thought you supported me getting my welding certification. Well, you had to do something. You never finished college. Oh. <laughs> Are you saying that you're smarter than I am? You know what? Jessica was right. She always said you thought you were smarter than everybody else. You talked to Jessica? <laughs> I thought that we agreed that you would cut off all contact with her after she made that pass at you. She was drunk? It was our wedding! You don't get to make passes at people at their weddings! Look, that's not the point. The point is that you always talk down to me. I just don't know who you are anymore. Well, I know I'm not a seal, and neither is that. <laughs> Come with beams from satellite to tell what's wrong and make it right. Hello, citizens. Who are you? I am Phone Man. Who the hell is Phone Man? I come to solve the world's problems using the power of the phone. Now, the way I understand it, when you two walked in here, you were happy. And the only thing that got in the way was that. <laughs> now, if we can just simply correctly identify it, all of your problems are solved and you can go back to being happy. I'll just take a picture, <laughs> put it into my large gray water mammal app, <laughs> and we have our answer. Well, what is it? It's a unicorn. <laughs> yeah, I don't think unicorns live underwater. <laughs> I come with beams from satellite to tell what's wrong and make it right. What's ice cream? Actually, I think they have sorbet here. Don't start. <laughs> <laughs> things between your legs? No, but there is more than that to being a man. <laughs> man, I really want to try this on, but there is no way I'm going to be doing that in the ladies' dressing room. Do you think it's unfair that you can't use the dressing room of the gender with which you identify? Never fear, for I, Dr. Harmony, the world's leading mad scientist, have developed a solution for your problem. Take this pill. Um. <laughs> What does it do? Absolutely nothing. Huh? Well, it will change people's perception of you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel absolutely the same. Good. Dude, nice shirt. You're going to try that on, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Order now, and you'll get the please -bro pill for the astonishing low rate of $29.95. Yeah. Now, you trans women may be feeling a little left out, but never fear, you can benefit as well. <coughs> hey, sweet thing, I get off at five. Um, you should know that I'm transgender. <laughs> <laughs> so the place is called Roosters, just around the corner, you know. I'll be waiting at the bars. You can come by at five, six, anytime's fine. Side effects of the please bro pill include safety in going to the bathroom, the ability to date with less possibility of getting murdered, and an increased probability of retaining employment. Wait, ooh. Ooh. what will my friends think? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Automatic mailers are the wave of the future, and we here at Product of the Month Club have your needs in mind. We do not understand the need for that many mouse pads. We do understand the need for that many wigs. That theme will continue indefinitely. But this week we're unveiling our new line, Jesus of the Month. Each month, Jesus is designed for delivery day. For January, baby Jesus rings in the new year. For February, it's Oscars, and in keeping with the Hollywood tradition, the person of color is played by someone white. <laughs> March is St. Patrick's Day, so we give you water and whiskey Jesus and his 12 drinking breadies. 
April is, of course, Easter, so we give you a risen after three days, zombie Jesus. <laughs> In May, we have Maypole Jesus, because appropriating a pagan holiday is the way of the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> June is gay pride, so Jesus comes with Judas in the garden. Oh, I do mean guns. <laughs> July is, of course, America's birthday, and what better way to celebrate than gun toting Jesus? Oh, yeah! <laughs> August is the time for county fairs, and you can't have that many animals together without a shepherd. <laughs> September is back to school, and as long as there are tests in school, there will be prayer. <laughs> October is Halloween, so we give you Sweet Jesus, complete with Twizzler Crown of Thorns and Jolly Rancher Stigmata. <laughs> November is football season, so we give you Gridiron Jesus, because taking other people's land by force is the Christian thing to do. <laughs> and come December, we give you Meta Jesus, <clears throat> smiling over a nativity scene. <laughs> yeah. We know Jesus is a big deal. We're trying to make it a monthly event. Yeah. Bow to your partner. Now bow to your corner. Circle and left. Interpret it square dance. Circle left as a pot roast. <laughs> Circle right as a double helix. <laughs> Josie Doe is the Titanic. Go <laughs> right as the iambic pentameter. <laughs> I have a credit rating of 824. I make 200,000 a year. I don't have a pass. You have a turtle. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Boys, boys, boys. I know about your income, and I know about your credit ratings, and I'm looking for something, you know, a little beyond the basics, and I'm wondering if either of you is a, is a dirty tenant. <laughs> no, of course not. In the last place I lived, I stripped all of the cabinets and re-varnished them. Oh, I, I can get you a letter from my last upstairs neighbor who thanked me for personally steam cleaning every carpet on her floor. I used to bake bread for my landlord every month and clean the oven with a toothbrush afterwards. Hey, what's not a toothbrush? Okay, what is a toothbrush? Don't just those big-ass wire things. No, 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 that is enough. I don't need my carpets cleaned because I have hardwood floors and I don't need bread. <laughs> Get it? In need, need, bread. Never mind. <laughs> uh, I, I, I tend to be more, more of a sausage person myself. Well, that's good, because I like to think that I'm <clears throat> capable of bringing home the bed. What, what are you doing? Well, I guess I could learn to make sausage. I mean, there's a lot of specialized equipment in, involved in sausage making. Hey, I uh, have you. a girlfriend. Yeah, oh, I've got a fiance. Well, my girlfriend wants to skip fiance and go straight to wife. That doesn't even make any no, sense. No, 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 you both want the room, don't you? I don't know why you're making this so difficult, then. I just need you to help me decide. You mean you want us to... Oh, yeah, you've got it, big boy. What? <laughs> Seriously? I mean, you're running a casting couch for renters? Well, $600 a month. On the bus line. All <laughs> utilities paid. No! <laughs> All right. What? I mean, this can't be ethical. Oh, ethical schmethical. Last place I looked at, they wanted twelve hundred a month. Plus, I would have to pay the bridge toll to get to work. I hate the bridge toll. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I hate the bridge soul too. <laughs> of the Sharknado. We need to start thinking outside the box. <laughs> oh, okay, tsunami, right? So the, an underwater tremor has caused the tides to rise up, bringing tuna into the shore. <laughs> this, this chicken of the sea ain't chicken no more. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is exactly what I'm talking about now. Can we, can we go further than fish? Like what? Like otter destruction? All these <laughs> rabid otters go inland from the tsunami? Otter Nami doesn't really roll off the tongue. <laughs> okay, are we married to weather patterns? Well, not tsunamis are weather. <laughs> Whoa, but what if a storm front came in and it was hailing taxi cabs? <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> look, if you're not going to take this seriously. No, no, look, look, okay, look, I like this enthusiasm. Let's keep this rolling. I am going to pull out the Excitatron Plotomizer. Yes. Who's first? Wow. Oh, oh, fine, fine. God. Panda sinkhole. Sink panda. Panda hole? <laughs> no, 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 those both sound icky. Let me get a shot. All right. Just one. Okay. So I have B. Kano. B. B. Kano. B. B. Kano. All right, all right, fine. Um, the bees, they aren't actually disappearing. They've 
all just gone under Mount Kilimanjaro, where they've created a super hive, and the heat coming off of their wings um, is causing a huge eruption to be released on the unsuspecting populace. Yes, yes, the first person to witness this is the Sherpa Steve Grundlebum. Uh, no, Gunderslice. Glastonbury. Gutenberg? <laughs> Jones. <laughs> and his entire uh, group of naturopaths has been wiped out. By mutant lava bees. <laughs> okay, okay, this is good, but can we do better? <laughs> oh, you guys. This is it. This, this is the one. Are you ready? You ready? You ready? Squeak. <laughs> Camera pans. San Andreas Valley, 3 a.m. All is quiet. Suddenly, a low rumbling erupts. <laughs> Zoom in on a young couple in a car on a bluff. The car shakes. The young man says to his lover, Don't worry, baby, it can't be more than a 3.5. The lovers return to their embrace. We hear slippery, squelching sounds. Camera pans with the young man's hand as it moves towards third base and continues to the floorboards of the car when suddenly a tentacle thrusts its way through the steel <laughs> like the Yes, the possibilities are endless. Yes. Would it make more sense if we said it in Japan? Oh, we could get sued by the Hello Craft estate. <laughs> yeah. No, I think, I think this is it, kids. This is a zinger. Hey, guys. The weather out here is getting pretty crazy. The police are telling us we need to evacuate the building. You better get going. Right, let's go. Oh! I knew it! <laughs> Jill, there's absolutely nothing on your profile about neck biting. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, yours didn't say anything about your excellent soccer ditching abilities. <laughs> you know something? You don't look so good. I don't feel so good. <laughs> <laughs>